Hi guys, I want us to see how we can validate years in that you can just allow uh, like five years ago and up to next one year. So that field cannot accept uh, any data past five years ago and also past next one year. Therefore, how do you go about that one? Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, uh, which I wish to show you that. Therefore, we have this table of hours pupils, but it is missing the year. Therefore, for example, we want to have the year uh, that is the uh, the admission year. That is admission year. Admission year. Therefore, for the admission year here, we need to have that one as number, and also. We want to have the exit year, exit year, that one. We are assuming our peoples must have been admitted five years ago and must not be in school more than six years. Therefore, you expect uh, from five years up to the foreign year now from today, this year inclusive, uh, do that student should exit by 2021. Therefore, let's just go to admission year here. Then we just scroll down to field properties. Therefore, in the field properties, you just go to default value here. Therefore, for the default value, we uh, assign the year we want. Therefore, we want them to have been, uh, this is 2021, let's say uh, 2017. Then uh, we have uh, these guys up to 2022. And therefore, you just go to the validation rule. This is the year that should be captured by new records. But for the uh, year, we need the year to be greater or equal to 2017. That is greater or equal to equal to 20, 2017. That is our start year. And this one should be race or equal to Therefore, now the year we want, that is the year, you open the bracket, then you type the word date, uh, uh, cross the brackets like that. Then uh, I cross the bracket that way. Then plus one. Therefore, it should be plus. To, uh, this year is 2021. Therefore, we want expired to be 2022. Therefore, it is plus uh, one. That means, in case somebody violates that one, we shall have our error message that uh, that this this pupil, this pupil must have been here here from 2017 and exit by year 2022. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's let's just have that one. Therefore, basically, you deal, you work with the default value, the validation rule, and the validation text, just like I have shown you. Therefore, let's save that one and see how that one goes by. Therefore, we just um, uh, have that uh, that one. Let's just confirm that it is there. Then for the exit here. Uh, that's for the admission year. For the exit year, you still do the same. You still do the same. Just go to default value. That is for the exit year. The exit here, the default value should be 2022. 2022. And uh, the validation rule, that is for the default value. The validation rule should be, uh, we can just type equals to, equals, equals to, 2022 therefore the devout, that is the the year we want and therefore uh, if somebody tries to write exit year that is a validation rule exit year something like um, or just have the formula here just type that uh, here equals equals to here then open the bracket date uh, that way we are in 2021 therefore 2022 2022 will be 
plus one here. It is 20, 21 plus one. Therefore, that's what we have. Then, from there, we need to have a message that the student, the student, that is the pupil, the pupil must exit in the year, in the year 2022. That, way, that is our message. Therefore, you cannot feed any other field here. It is 2022 and nothing else. Therefore, you just save that. Just save that one. Ladies and gentlemen, click yes. Click yes. Then save again. Then we can just go there and try. Therefore, just go home and do this. Therefore, what you need to go to do, we just go and look at this field. Therefore, just look at this field, ladies and gentlemen. You see now our admission uh, year here is 20, 20, uh, 2017 and exit is 2022. Therefore, if you try to type something like here, like 2016, you get an error message. This is the error message that you get that the people must have been here from 2017 and exit in 2022. Therefore, 2016 cannot be accepted. So is 2023. 2023 is exceeding or has exceeded our threshold and therefore people must have been you get the same error message but now if i key in something like 2021 ladies and gentlemen there is no error because it is within our range on the other hand if i go and type 2021 by mistake there you still I still have the error message. The people must exit in 2022. And therefore, if I, again I try to have something else, like 2023, or 2023, it is outside the range. Therefore, still I get the same error message. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you validate year of entry and also uh, year of exit using uh, Microsoft uh, uh, Access Validation, that is the default value. Uh, we have seen we use the default value. We use the validation rule and the validation text. And therefore, as we wait for more videos, ladies and gentlemen, remember to subscribe if you haven't done so. You can also, if in a position, donate so that this channel can go even far in providing these free tutorials. Thank you very much.